Well, I just thought since we are starting tomatoes today, it is January 18th. Yeah. That it would be a good time. Uh, we haven't done one of these videos yet. I thought it'd be a good time to talk about like what are our plans this year um, for our farm. Yeah. I mean, this is the first year you're home yep. full time, so we're excited about that and uh, feel like you know all these prayers and dreams from years past are kind of like all coming to fruition this year. So. Yeah. We're excited about that. So, um, so we're we're starting tomatoes. I mean, that's like the biggest thing, probably our plans for this year. We yeah. doubled our tomato production from last year. Yep, we're planning on uh, 1,500 tomato plants, and we're going to stagger them every three to four weeks or so. Yeah. So today we started uh, 370 for the high tunnel, and then it'll be another probably three weeks before we start any more and then we're gonna uh, I've kind of planned it so that um, I have them early not have as many in the middle when everybody else has tomatoes and then have some later on mm -hmm. that's kind of the plan for tomatoes yeah last year was kind of an experiment I mean that yeah. was our first year where we were really hardcore selling to the public and um you know had signs out at out, out of the road and everything and we just had a bunch of people come by um throughout the summer and but that gave us a good basis for when the busiest time is going to be probably and like yeah. you said when other people's tomatoes you know are producing at home yeah. and then they're not coming here to buy from us so yeah i think that's pretty smart yeah, we had 600 last year and they were all at one time. Yeah. So we planted them all at the same time for the most part. I mean, there was maybe a week in between some of them out in the field. Mm. Yeah. We, plant, we started them all at the same time here right. in the greenhouse. Yeah. It's going to be a good year. Yeah. But we're going to do uh, tomatoes mainly. Uh, we've talked about for ourselves. We're going to plant uh, potatoes and green beans. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we'll have tomatoes, and, and uh, but uh, we're also going to do squash, cucumbers, and okra for mm -hmm. sale. But the potatoes and green beans are going to be ours. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to part with those. <laughs> yeah. Well, green beans are so difficult to pick. Yeah. And so it's it's hard to charge enough to justify the time to pick them. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. We go through some green beans and yeah. we go through some potatoes, so yeah, it's hard to part with those. Yeah, that's it. That's I mean that's our garden plan. Yeah. So what about meat production? What is what's our plan? Yeah, we're we're uh, we have some spots at the butcher this year. Luckily, that most butchers are a year out or more. You know, they're they're a lot of them aren't even scheduling for this year mm -hmm. in our area. So. Um, we have one coming up in a couple of weeks mm. that we got in a year ago, I guess. Mm. Um, so we have six spots for beef at the butcher. No, we have eight spots. We don't have we six. We have up. we have eight I, spots I at the butcher. <laughs> so we're going to be raising um, beef for our customers. We, we've sold a few already, as either half or whole beef. Um, of course, we're going to have lamb and. Uh, probably some pork and we haven't really discussed chicken yet but we'll do some chickens yeah we have some customers who want some roosters and stuff so we'll we'll try to provide that for them mm -hmm. and we enjoy the chicken yeah ourselves yeah too. yeah we've developed a pretty good uh, neighbor neighborly community or whatever around the chickens yeah y'all have seen three, some of those yeah, videos three or four or five families that come in together and raise them together and process them together and mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun yeah so we'll at least do that yeah if we don't have any for sale we'll we'll at least raise some for, for ourselves the people that the people. want to do it yeah <clears throat> it's a lot of work chickens are a lot of work mm -hmm. yeah um and and expensive <laughs> yeah super expensive yeah um and we still have eggs so yeah we should ha start having a bunch of eggs in the next month or so yeah um yeah we've got what 120 laying hens <laughs> i think it's right around 120 yeah 
our new ones are starting to lay now so yeah. that's nice mm -hmm. um and then our cow is we're drying our cow up yep. um sydney's been milking the cow this week and will continue until um basically this she's weekend. Yeah, yeah basically she's dry so yeah. um she's already producing a lot less now and um <clears throat> yeah she's only been given a gallon or less for the past three weeks mm -hmm. and today it was about half a gallon so yeah um but she's the reason why we're drying her up is she's getting ready to calve in march, march end of march so yeah. um so yeah we're giving her a little break mm -hmm. and um and giving ourselves a break and yep. that'll be nice so there's a huge demand for milk in our area there is so we've really gone back and forth about getting more than one cow. We probably should. <laughs> we, I know. It's such it's, a commitment. We're not, we haven't settled either way. So yeah. we're still considering yeah. that. Um, we we have a, an official herd share. And so um, yeah. we have a waiting list for that. Um, yeah. So it's, it's hard to have a waiting list and not be able to. Yeah fulfill that but and I don't mind it I don't mind milking at all it, the only problem is that it does tie you down mm -hmm. it's very hard to leave yeah which I don't mind not leaving but as a family you know sometimes we need to leave and get away and yeah take a break so it's the milk cow makes it difficult yeah speaking of which um, I guess that kind of leads into possibly <clears throat> another goal of ours is to be able to host more more people yeah possibly we've kind of to uh, toyed with the idea of like an intern program mm -hmm. something of that nature maybe not officially but um anyways we're just kind of talking that through so yeah that's probably the mainly main oh, that's not the right way to say that. <laughs> it's probably the mainly <laughs> um that's probably the only other major thing I guess project well no we have a project that's coming up yeah so I just forget we got a lot going on mm -hmm. um we're gonna be building a what are you, what are you calling that a pole shed pole, pole shed. barn or whatever okay um it's just a, we need a place to sell produce from that's the main objective yeah but I want to make make it multi-use and so we'll more than likely we'll pour a concrete slab so that we can have it for butchering animals and um, a place to process chickens and all of our vegetables and milk and mm -hmm. you know the whole thing a place yeah. to wash eggs a place to can do some canning mm -hmm. we, That'll just, be nice. we need a we need an area dedicated for processing yeah and selling i agree <laughs> um and we're still working on Adam's dad's home and uh, that's right in our backyard. So we'll continue with that this year. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. We've been delaying because of lumber prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hard. Um, anything else? Any other projects we got going on this year? Not anything big that <clears> I, <throat> I can think of. We've got a couple of events we're going to do for sure. We're doing um, both of the HOA events. We're going to be in Tennessee in May, and then we're going to be in Virginia in October. So that's exciting. I love <coughs> I love doing events for our, um, our business, Farm Life Outfitters, for our t-shirt brand. Um, it's a great way to meet people, um, to meet even like current customers who we've never met in person that have just ordered online from us. So... Uh, that's neat and then and then HOA is always just so much fun just to get together with people um, it's just like a big reunion and um, so anyways that'll be exciting mm -hmm. anything else you can think of mm -mm, I'm sure something will come up I'm sure yeah that's not all I mean that's enough but that's probably yeah. not all for us because we we tend to um, Mm -hmm. think of new things we want to do every day so yeah. <laughs> it's hard to kind of just streamline but um i feel like this year is going to be pretty streamlined with yeah tomatoes and yeah you're focused on the yeah it's easy with the garden to plant a bunch of stuff and mm -hmm. then just last year we planted all kinds of stuff yeah early corn and beans and all kinds of stuff yeah but this year it's 
there's just a few things that we're planting and uh, I'm also going to start some plants for sale probably some mm -hmm. peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that for people to purchase yeah yeah that'll be good but we're not going to put a ton of variety in I'm going to focus on a few things and try to be better at it yeah what's your plan for bees this year do you have a <coughs> plan for bees I don't yeah. I need a plan for bees, but I, know. I, don't, I don't feel like I have time. Yeah. Which is, it sounds weird to say. I know. <laughs> um, well, since Adam came home, he's really been very, very busy. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, we knew it was going to be like that, but, um, you know, he, he's got um, experience with, fixing appliances and plumbing and all kinds of stuff and so he's he's getting calls just about every day to fix things or um you know work on houses and that kind of thing so uh, in addition to everything he's got going on around here because this is our income now this is where we want to make our full-time income so in addition to all this he's he's out doing other stuff too so it's hard it's hard to find time for everything mm -hmm. And I, he, lo he loves the bees. I know you love the bees, mm -hmm. um, but they do take a lot of time yeah. and energy. And, and so, yeah, that's. I really need to just let them go. Just give them a year to do their own thing. Mm. Let them swarm, just let them. Not baby them. Yeah, and, just let yeah. them do their own thing. Yeah. It's so hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to let, let the bees swarm. Yeah. See them fly away. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. Yeah. But we've talked about we've talked about some other things too, but um, other projects and things. But we're not. We haven't decided on anything really yet. Um, but stay tuned. Uh, follow us along, and and you'll be able to see all the things that we're working on. And yeah, it's going to be a fun year. It is. We're excited about it, and um, I plan to to be bringing you guys along at least twice a week hopefully three times a week to see those things and um yeah it'll be good mm -hmm. all right well those are those are our plans for this year and um we would love to hear from you guys if you have uh, some things you'd like to share with us some exciting things you're working on um at your place we'd love to hear them in the comments and respond to them so um we look forward to hearing from you talk to you guys later all righty bye you. Hungarian hot wax, cubanelle, and cayenne.